Hello everyone! And hello from Annie! What we're going to do today is have a look through the answers to the uh, questions that you were set as homework. So it wants us to find out the volume of the hydrogen produced when 0 0.5 mole of magnesium is reacting. Okay, so here's my formula triangle, and because it's centimetre cubed, we need 24,000 centimetre cubed here. Well, the relationship between the number of moles of magnesium and the number of moles of hydrogen is one. So there's not a number in front of the magnesium, so that means that there's one mole of it. There's not a number in front of the hydrogen, so it means that there's one mole of that. So it's a one-to-one -one relationship. That means if there's 0 0.5 moles of this one, there must be 0 0.5 moles of that one. Okay, so we've got our moles of hydrogen there. That's that bit sorted. And we're trying to work out the volume in centimetre cubed, which is shown here. To get the volume, to get the volume, you do that number of moles multiplied by the 24,000 decimetre cubed mole of acid. The molar gas constant there. Our number of moles was 0 0.5 times by 24,000 times it by 0 0.5 is the same as dividing by 2. So that should be really easy to work out. 12,000, and let's have our units there as well, centimetre cubed. That is the answer. OK, question 3. Calculate the volume of carbon dioxide, that's CO2, produced in decimeter cubed okay so on a formula triangle we want it in decimeter cubed so that'd be the number of moles multiplied in this case by 24. there's a formula triangle when 2.5 moles of this thing which is copper with carbon and three oxygens. Usually when you've got three oxygens together, um, we give it the suffix of eight. So this is copper, carbon, eight, copper carbonate, uh, of when copper carbonate undergoes thermal decomposition. So let's have a look at the balancing again. Uh, it's already a balanced equation, but it's just a one to one to one. So you don't have to do any additional balancing there. But that means that if we've got one mole of that, we will make one mole of the carbon dioxide. In the question, it states that we've got 2.5 moles. Therefore, we must have 2.5 moles of that as well. Our volume is going to be the moles times by, in this case, it's 24 because we're working in decimeter cubed as requested in this question. The number of moles was 2.5, 2.5 times by 24 is 60 and the units of decimeter cubed. Okay, question four. Calculate the volume of HCl, that's hydrochloric acid. That's hydrogen chloride, um, which when hydrogen chloride dissolves into an aqueous solution, so into water, it makes hydrochloric acid. So we've got the hydrogen chloride there. And we're working in decimeter cubed. That means our number of moles volume 
24 decimeter cubed is the number that we're going to use there. With 36 decimeter cubed of hydrogen. So this one's going to take a little bit more working out than the previous ones. With the hydrogen, we've already got a volume of 36 decimeter cubed. Number of moles? Well, let's just treat it as if that was one. So from the balancing there, there's one mole. For the HCl, we're trying to work out what the volume is in decimeter cubed and number of moles I'm going to assume is two. So actually what I'm going to do here, I'm going to be a little bit lazy. I'm not going to even bother using the formula triangle that much. I know to get from here to here, I times by two. Therefore, to get from here to here, I'm also going to times by two. So I'm just going to be really lazy and do 36 decimeter cubed times by two to get 72 decimeter cubed. So my volume of HCl is 72 decimeter cubed.